Hey, Alfred. This morning you showed me how to do an EVAP test. The more I think about it, the more concerned I am about how to find an EVAP leak if the car failed the test. Can you give me some pointers? Sure, no problem. You're in luck. We dropped a fuel tank the other day from a customer's car that failed the leak test because the frill and neck area was leaking. Even though we already made the repair, I can use this tank to demonstrate some common leak detection techniques. With this tank out, we can see what we are doing. Sounds like a plan. I've simulated a leak in the system by slicing a nick in this old EVAP hose that goes to the canister. The customer already approved new hose replacements on this job, so it's okay if it's cut. First thing we need to do is set up the EVAP tester in manual mode. Now the tester is prompting me to hook up the hose. Using the tester in manual mode offers two advantages. First, it can supply a continuous pressure to the EVAP system for about 10 minutes per session while we search for the leak. And second, the tester indicates on the screen if the system is leaking. Let's start by sealing the system. To isolate the area that is leaking, we take the pinch pliers and just start pinching the hose at intervals. Let's start from the area closest to the canister and then work our way back. Each time you crimp the hose, Check the screen to see if it's holding pressure. If it is, you found the approximate location of the leak. It's holding. Looks like the leak is between the pinch point and the plug. You got it. Thanks for all your help. I appreciate it. Sure, you're welcome. Now let's demonstrate some simple diagnostic techniques you can use to pinpoint EVAP leaks. With the hose crimped or plugged and the tester hose attached to the adapter, Set the tester in manual mode. The tester will now pressurize the EVAP system for about 10 minutes. While the system is under pressure, you may perform one or more of the following leak detection techniques. Using a bottle of soapy water, spray the area you believe is leaking. If you see bubbles coming from an area you just sprayed, then that area is leaking. Another method to detect the leak uses the BAR-97 EIS in manual mode. Watch the HC meter as you move the analyzer probe tip across the suspected area of the leak. If the HC readings increase, you've probably found the area of the leak. For areas in the EVAP system that are hard to access or to pinpoint small leaks, a smoke generator may be a suitable tool. This method requires pressurizing the EVAP system with white smoke. Be sure to wait to see smoke appearing from the filler neck area before reinstalling the gas cap and pressurizing the system. For vehicles with low fuel levels or big fuel tanks, allow extra time to fill the system with smoke. With the system pressurized and using a high intensity white light, the white smoke can be seen venting from a leaking area. Incorporated into the smoke machine oil is a dye that is visible using an ultraviolet light and yellow glasses. This dye is visible where the smoke leaks from the EVAP system. The dye will be seen as a blue-green residue in the area of the leak. This leak detection method is good for finding very small leaks. After a certain number of tests have been performed, the tester will not allow you to start a new test unless you download the accumulated inspection data. Plug a phone line into the back of the tester. Then follow the menu prompts on the tester for downloading data. Be sure to follow all download procedures in the operator's manual. It's pretty straightforward. Thank you for viewing this information on the low pressure fuel evaporative test. To conduct this test, technicians must possess a valid smog check technician license. No added endorsements or certifications are required. Before performing any EVAP testing, licensed technicians must read the manufacturer's operator manual and follow the test prompts on the equipment screen. Thanks for your dedication to the Smog Check program and California's Clean Air Goals.